Drum Alert Nation. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Our first story is coming from Target. That's right, the CEO, John Mulligan, posted that he did not want customers bringing in firearms in the store anymore. Now, this sparked some debate. One of the first comments came from Chris Rosie saying, I will now shop at Target again. She's a part of the United States Air Force Academy. Jack responded by saying, a person in the military supporting the Constitution? Not. Chris responded back by saying, Jack, are you saying that I don't support the Constitution? Jonathan jumped in saying, you, sir, are a disgrace to the oath in which you have taken. But it's not a sir, it's a lady. Then Don jumped in saying, hey, gun nuts, thanks for doing some more gun control than any hundreds of politicians could have. Now, this went on and on and on. 4,000 comments sparking the debate here. And now a story about a very popular registered firearm user. That's right, Anthony from the Opie and Anthony show. Millions of people listen to this talk show on Sirius. And basically what took place is Anthony was taking a picture down in New York City and apparently a girl got caught in the frame. He says this, so I was taking a pics in New York City and a black girl who was in the frame punched me in the face. I called her a blank because that's what she was. Then she punched me five more times. She's lucky I was a white legal gun owner or she'd be dead. Then five blacks started giving me shit. I told them to back the fuck off. This wasn't their show. The cunt then punched me again. Seems white boys don't hit back. Lucky savage. Then he posted a picture of the person that attacked him saying, here's the pic that got the whore bitch piece of cunt all pissy. Anthony also said it's a jungle out in our cities after midnight. Violent savages own the streets. They all came to defend this pig. I had to yell like at dogs. They aren't people. He also said savage violent animal fucks prey on white people. Easy targets. This cunt has no clue how lucky she was. She belted me 10 times. I had a gun. Somebody asked, so a female beat you? He said, no, this animal bitch used a instinctual violence on me. I restrained myself from putting it to sleep. The switch to violence is immediate. No discussion, just violence. When will that be addressed? Oh, right, never. Slavery did it. Oh, okay. He also said, there's a deep seated problem with violence in the black community. Try to address it and you will be exiled to racistville. But it's real. He also said great pick of the cunt rag bitch fuck animal pig face worthless meat sack shit pile stink crotch ass stain rot mug. I have a feeling Opie and Anthony might lose some sponsors. I, I, I don't know. Also, Ferky said, why do people care about murderers and rapists when there are kids setting up and faking shots on Call of Duty video games? Mixie B.E. said, find me on Omegle under unicorns. Era Elk responded by saying, I searched faggot and still found you. What the fuck? Guys, that's it for the news today. Next drum alert will be out after 3,000 likes. Guys, uh, somebody on Twitter said they're going to be using a dislike bot on this video. I hope real people, real breathing humans that enjoy Drama Alert can put a like on it and we can beat that bot. Drama Alert Nation, now over 24,000 subscribers.